So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we're going to make use of the image view in Swift UI and learn how to make use of image view to add images to our Swift UI application. So let's get started. So to add an image, first of all, what you have to do is just go ahead to your assets catalog and add an image here, which you want to add, right? In my case, I have a dummy user image right here, which you can see. And what you want to do in your content view to add this is basically nothing. You just have to write image and inside the parenthesis, give the name that is the name of your image in the assets catalog. And in our case, it's user. So once you do that, you should be able to see your image right there in the preview window. All right, so now you can see that we have a big image right there. So what we want to do is limit its size the best way for it to limit the size is to limit the frame the box of the container so i'm gonna say its width is let's say 100 pixel and and not really pixel it's 100 points and height is 102 right so once you do that you're gonna see that pretty much nothing happens except the frame box of the image collapses to 100 cross 100 you can see this blue box right here but the image does not um you can say shrink right so in order to make that you first have to tell swift ui that yes you want the image to be resizable otherwise it won't resize your particular images so now you can see that your image gets resized right now what happens if you don't want that well in that case it would work too so for example if you want just 300 cross 300 and uh, for example if you have a nice scenery background then you might not just want to clip that out right or rather you, you might want to just clip out the remaining area so you're gonna just pass in clipped to the image and what would happen is that on the right you would be able to see that your rest of the image gets clipped up right so that's pretty cool now you can actually give it a clip shape too um which is how your image should be clipped off which is amazing so you, i can just say clip and I, you can see that we have a clip shape right here so the simplest one is just circle so i can say that hey clip this particular image in the form of a circle and once it's done we're gonna see and actually you're gonna need to have a resizable to this because the clip shape clips the image by default it clips the image the on the way of its whole width and height so you can see if i remove the clip shape circle we're gonna see that this stretches out like a regular image which we had but if you specify a circle there you're gonna see it it kind of creates a circle and this would have been more clear if we had a, a, a colored image instead of a white one right so for for creating a similar effect without resizable you could pretty much just go ahead with corner radius maybe and let's say we give it half of the width so what we should be able to see is now we have a image like this which kind of which kind of looks weird but if we just drop the radius gradually you're gonna see that this is pretty much what we had earlier so if I drop it, drop it to like 10, you're gonna see that this was what we had, right? And if you give, take it all the way to half the width, you're gonna get a circled clipped shape for that particular thing. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for images part. And uh, that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. From the next video onwards, we're gonna continue our login series. So yeah, see you in the next video.